What's going on guys? I'm doing a review today on the Soundcore by Anchor Liberty 2 Pro headphones. Um, I wanted to upgrade because I've been rocking these Jaybird X2s for a very long time um, and I just wanted something that had some better sound quality basically. I like these Jaybirds, uh, the X2 version specifically because of how they're designed and how comfortable they are. I've got them like this with these clips where they just wrap around your head and go in the ears so it really stays out of the way. Um, they sound pretty good uh, and they last you know, about four or five hours. So to me, this was a, a really great pair of headphones, but I pay for uh, Tidal Hi-Fi music and I wanted something that basically just sounded better. So. Here we are in 2019 and I came across these after watching a YouTube video from Linus Tech Tips. Um, and these are the Soundcore by Anchor Liberty 2 Pros. Um, I, I kind of wasn't interested in the truly wireless coming from these, um, you know, pairing issues and whatnot, but I, uh, I jumped aboard and um, I'm pretty happy with them. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing and uh, I've actually already unboxed them and listened to them for a few days now and I'm gonna give you my review. So I got these specifically because it has Bluetooth 5 and it supports Qualcomm Aptex. I kind of wish it or really wish it supported the Aptex HD or even LDAC but I guess you can't have it all. Um, but this, you know, Bluetooth 5 with, with the Qualcomm Aptex it should be uh, a step in the right direction for getting some better quality sound. These actually have the uh, Astria coaxial acoustic architecture. It's something that they've got going for them. Uh, it's pretty much just how the drivers are lined up and how it produces sound. Um, comes with a wireless case that charges the headphones. Um, so let's uh, get cracking and open it up here. Nice box. Um, there they are. Here's a, here's a little diagram of the uh, architecture here. Kind of shows how the drivers are lined up and uh, so on and so forth. You can research it however you want. Get more info. So uh, basically, you got your case which is really nice, slides open. This is magnetic in here so you just drop them in and it charges. It's got a USB uh, Type-C charging port back there, so that's nice. Um, it's got the uh, indicator button here that says how much battery life you got there. And looking at them, I wasn't, you know, I thought these were a lot bigger than what they actually are, but these are really small and I was really pleased to find out how small they were. Um, compared to my Jaybirds over here. So it's, it's similar size. Um, so you're not, you know, putting this big Bluetooth thing in your ear and looking retarded, but yeah. Um, so let's finish the unboxing here. You've got some uh, guides here. And they provide a full array of wing tips and ear pieces. I really wish that they provided foam tips, um, but not a deal breaker. Fortunately, I have a pair on my Jaybirds, so I can just remove those if I need to. And it comes with a type A to type C cable for charging. So, now that that's out of the way, I got these for actually a hundred bucks. Um, and that's because I had a $20 discount from watching uh, his Tech Tips video. I think they're going to retail for around $130, something like that. So for a cheap pair of headphones, I would consider, being that I paid a lot more for the Jaybirds when they first came out, I think this is an excellent deal and I totally recommend them. So they pop into the case like so. You just kind of throw them in there like that and they'll start charging. They're labeled left and right, and each one has a individual button on it, 
and there's some instructions in here that show you what those buttons do. It's everything that you need. Um, you can you can actually program it in the app. Um, you know, volume up, volume down, answer phone calls, uh, voice assistant, skip track, play pause, and that's all programmable in your app where you can change it, which is cool. Um, and that's all. It's not just one or the other, you get all of them. So you can push a button for one second and it'll do something, or you can press and hold for it, you know, for two seconds and then it'll do something else. So that's, it's, you know, it's, it's fully featured headphones here. So this is what they look like. And again, they're really small, really light. Um, speaking of the sound quality, I was going for something that I really wanted, you know, a big upgrade. And this definitely delivered a upgrade over the Jaybirds. Not quite, um, you know, blowing me away, but, you know, the, the, your other option if you want to be blown away is over the ear headphones. So, one, these are truly wireless. Two, the, the setup right out of the box fits, fits my ears perfectly. I, I don't even have to put the foam tips on at the moment. Uh, the wing tips that they got, the medium size, they fit my ears perfectly. Um, they're, they're great. They sound great. Um, like I said, it's not going to blow you away, but for truly uh, wireless in-ear buds, these things are pretty much as good as it gets. Um, I would... You know, I, I've listened to the Sony, the recent Sony ones that came out, and these sound just as good or better. And for half the price, you know, you're getting these. And this is a, you know, reputable manufacturer, Anchor. So they, they, they make, you know, awesome stuff. And that's why I kind of went with these. I didn't, you know, it's not some knockoff brand. It's actually a brand that everybody knows. So as far as the sound, they sound great. And as far as... Uh, being comfortable, they're really comfortable. And I did, you know, happen to test the range and it's amazing. With Bluetooth 5, you get tons of range. You know, you can walk around your whole house and leave your phone inside and it, and it never cut off. Um, that was a that was one thing that I really, you know, wanted to upgrade over the Jaybirds because they had really poor range. And I don't know if that was just the design or the fact that it was still on Bluetooth 4. But with Bluetooth 5, you get the range, you get better throughput, latency, you know, lower latency, and um, overall better sound quality, I believe, with the uh, Qualcomm AppDex. So definitely, uh, if uh, you're in the, you know, checking out for, new, you know, checking out new headphones, try these for sure. Uh, you're gonna love them. They have an app that you can uh, adjust the EQ, which is helpful. Uh, the battery life is awesome. The sound is good. You get a nice case, very quality, very happy with them. So hopefully this review will kind of sway you to checking these out. Now, I don't think a lot of people know uh, that these are out on the market. So if, uh, if you see this video and it's helpful, then uh, good for you and check it out. If you guys got any more questions, let me know. Thanks.